Have you ever wondered if those waist trainers you see all over social media actually work? Do they truly help you lose weight and reshape your body? Or is it all just a trend? Well, today, we're diving deep into the world of waist trainers to uncover the real facts, the science, and the potential risks you need to know about. So, stay tuned because by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of whether waist trainers are worth it or not. But first, make sure you smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to never miss our practical health tips. We've got some incredible solutions waiting for you in the description as well, where you can learn how to lose 100 pounds or more. Now, let's get started on this eye-opening journey. You've probably seen waist trainers all over social media and wondered, do they really work and are they safe? To answer these questions, we need to understand how waist trainers function. Let's break it down. All right. First, let's begin by understanding what happens when you put on a waist trainer. Imagine your body as a chest cavity, the home of your heart and lungs. Your lungs work like balloons, expanding and contracting as you breathe, all thanks to the diaphragm. When you breathe in, your lungs expand, and when you breathe out, they contract due to the diaphragm's movement. So, what's the link between all this and waist trainers? Good question. Let's break it down. When you wear a waist trainer, it compresses your abdomen, essentially squishing your internal fat and organs upwards into your chest. This reduces the space for your lungs to fully expand, making your waist look slimmer when you have the trainer on. To make this clearer, I've got a little demonstration for you. Imagine we have two people, one with minimal internal fat and the other with more internal fat, and decided to put a waist trainer on both of them and see what happens. Now, take a look at the person with minimal internal fat. With the waist trainer on, there's not much of a change, and she can comfortably hold her breath. But now, whenever it's tried with more internal fat, it's harder for me to breathe and talk simultaneously. That's because my diaphragm has been pushed up and my lung capacity has decreased. It demonstrates the impact of a waist trainer on someone with more internal fat. Is this video helpful and insightful? You can see how wearing a waist trainer can affect your breathing and create the illusion of a smaller waist, but it's crucial to remember this effect is temporary. As soon as you remove the waist trainer, your body returns to its original shape. If all of this makes sense, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out. To better grasp this, think of a toothpaste tube. When you squeeze it in the middle, the toothpaste goes to the top and bottom, and it stays there because the tube is flexible. However, your body doesn't work the same way. When you squeeze your waist with a waist trainer, you create the illusion of a smaller waist, but it's not a permanent change because your body's capacity remains the same. Wearing a waist trainer squishes your abdomen, pushing some of the intestine content into the chest area. Now, you might be wondering, if waist trainers aren't the answer, what about shapewear? Well, there's a big difference between waist trainers and shapewear like Fodgers. Waist trainers aim to cinch the waist temporarily for a slimmer look, while shapewear covers a larger area and offers various benefits. If you're looking for a more flattering shape, consider shapewear like Fodgers. Unlike waist trainers, Fodgers cover your upper back, waist, and hips, and even lift your buttocks. They can enhance your overall figure and help you look great in your clothes. So, when it comes to shaping your body, Fodgers are a better choice than waist trainers. Another thing to be cautious about is wearing waist trainers after surgery, thinking it will improve your results. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way and can even lead to problems like ischemia, where the blood supply is compromised, potentially causing burns and other complications. Now that we've discussed how waist trainers work and their temporary effects, let's further explore the potential hazards associated with using them. While waist trainers may give you that coveted hourglass figure during use, there are certain risks that you should be aware of. One significant risk is the potential for discomfort and health issues, such as breathing difficulties. As we've demonstrated earlier, wearing a waist trainer restricts the expansion of your lungs and can lead to shallow breathing, especially during activities like exercising. This can cause dizziness, shortness of breath, and even fainting in extreme cases. Another concern possible danger of waist trainers is its impact on your digestive system. When you wear a waist trainer regularly, it can compress your stomach and intestines, potentially leading to issues like acid reflux, constipation, or even indigestion. 
these can be uncomfortable and, in the long run, affect your overall health. Furthermore, wearing waist trainers can result in skin irritation, chafing, and even bruising. The constant pressure on your midsection can lead to skin problems, making it uncomfortable and sometimes painful to wear. It's essential to reiterate that waist trainers offer only a temporary solution. If you're looking for long-term weight loss and body shaping, they are not the answer. The moment you take off that waist trainer, your body will revert to its original shape and any perceived benefits are short-lived. That's why it's crucial to prioritize sustainable methods for achieving your fitness goals. These methods involve a balanced diet and regular exercise, which not only helps you lose weight but also improve your overall health and well-being. Rather than relying on a waist trainer to create the illusion of a smaller waist, focus on making lifestyle changes that yield lasting results. So, what should you do if you're interested in losing weight and shaping your body in a healthy, sustainable way? It all starts with setting realistic goals. Understand that there's no one-size-fits-all approach to weight loss, and what works for one person may not work for another. Consult with a healthcare professional or a certified fitness trainer to develop a personalized plan that suits your unique needs and goals. Incorporate a balanced diet into your routine, rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Avoid crash diets and extreme caloric restrictions, as these can be detrimental to your health and often lead to short-term results followed by weight gain. Regular physical activity is another essential component of a successful weight loss journey. Aim for a mix of cardiovascular exercises, strength training, and flexibility exercises to maximize your results. Remember, consistency is key. Small, gradual changes to your daily routine can make a significant difference over time. While we've delved into the potential issues associated with waist trainers, it's worth noting that the benefits of shapewear, like Fodges, as an alternative, shapewear, when used correctly, can offer excellent support and help enhance your figure while being comfortable and not posing the same risk as waist trainers. Shapewear can provide support to your back and posture, making it easier for you to maintain proper body alignment throughout the day. This can reduce back pain and discomfort, especially if you have a job that requires long hours of sitting or standing. Additionally, high-quality shapewear can give you a boost of confidence by smoothing out problem areas and creating a streamlined look under your clothing. It's a versatile solution for special occasions or when you want that extra bit of confidence. In summary, waist trainers may offer a temporary illusion of a smaller waist but come with potential health risks and discomfort. It's crucial to understand that they do not provide a permanent solution to weight loss or body shaping. If your goal is to lose weight and shape your body in a healthy and sustainable way, consider consulting with professionals. Focusing on a balanced diet and incorporating regular exercise into your routine. Rather than relying on quick fixes, invest in long-term strategies for your well-being. And remember, if you found this information helpful, do us a favor. Like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Practical Health Tip. Turn on notifications so you're the first to know when we release new content. Your support means a lot to us. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please leave your thoughts in the comments below. We're here to provide you with valuable information to support your health and well-being. Until next time, take care, stay healthy, and make informed choices on your journey to a better you.